awesome Eastern Conference showdown here to start both their seasons. Milwaukee Bucks in Boston to play the Celtics. We get to see new looks from both teams, uh, Drew Holiday in Milwaukee and Tristan Thompson in Boston. Got to be an awesome game. Uh, Boston Celtics versus Milwaukee Bucks. Let's make a pick. So this line opened up Milwaukee Bucks minus two and a half points. And a lot of early money came in on Milwaukee over the weekend. Then Monday and Tuesday hits, even more money comes in on the Bucks, pushes the line up to three and a half. Now, this just happened. I'm curious to see what the line's gonna do or what the money's gonna do now that the number's at three and a half. I'm wondering if we're gonna see this number come back to Boston before tip off tomorrow night. I will keep you posted on that in the comments. But as of right now, it's at three and a half and I don't have the numbers in front of me, but a ton of, I think it's 95% of the money is in on Milwaukee. How do these teams match up on the court? Well, first off, I love the Boston Celtics off season. They moved Enos Cantor in a trade, right? And I like Cantor, but I didn't feel like he was the best fit in Boston. They signed Tristan Thompson to a team friendly deal. It was two years, 18 million or two years, 19 million. Tristan Thompson, the offensive rebound king, He's physical, he plays defense, he rebounds. Uh, he's probably gonna be coming off the bench, but I really like him getting some minutes at the five with Jason Tatum at the four. I feel like those two match up really well together, offensively and defensively. The Bucks' big move was basically they swapped Eric Bledsoe with Drew Holiday. And on paper, you might be like, uh, Eric Bledsoe and Drew Holiday, like who's even better? But this is about matchups, and the truth is Drew Holiday fits into that Bucks lineup a lot better than Bledsoe did. That Drew Holiday's perimeter defense, it makes the Bucks a complete defensive team. On offense, Drew Holiday is a slightly better knockdown shooter than Eric Bledsoe. So that fits in really well with the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis drives, Giannis kicks <laughs> offensive style that they run. You always want better knockdown shooters with a player like Giannis. So what's the pick here? All right, this one sucks because my brain is telling me to lay the points and take the Milwaukee Bucks. But I'm looking at this money here, 95% or whatever it is, uh, almost all the money's on the Bucks. What is the sports books just giving money away now? I hate that. So my brain's telling me to take the Bucks, but the right side here is to play the, the Celtics. So I'm going with handicappers logic here. Give me Boston plus three and a half. Lock it in. Remember, NBA bets were going half units for the first couple weeks. I'll let you know when that changes. Celtics plus three and a half.